I'm continuing on with my connector project and I'm starting out with a size connectors and this is for a D38999 slash 20 family and so with my connector project what I want is to represent the different pins with coordinate systems and also have the different keyways and also pins versus sockets and so let me change from a shading with edges to no hidden line so that you can see that in my model I have a number of coordinate systems I like to have a single entry coordinate system if people don't want to route pin to pin and for a size connectors there are two main sets of inserts that are defined by mill standard 1560 actually there are more than two but it seems like there are only two that are really common as far as I know first off there is a 9-35 set of pins and socket locations and there's also 9-98 and so for the 9-35 insert arrangement the pins are numbered 1 through 6 for 9-98 they are lettered a b and c so to create all these different variations two different sets of inserts six different keyways and pins and sockets it's easiest for me to do that as a family table now if I was willing to I might want to do an entire family table for the entire d38999 family but I don't know I'm not sure about that yet just might get too big but anyhow to create a family table at the part level I can go to the tools tab and then choose family table and in this dialog box right now it's giving me instructions and telling me that first I should select what columns I want to appear in the family table and so I will click on the add columns and for this one a lot of times in the family table you're gonna have different dimensions but I have the geometry in the model which by the way I have courtesy of Amphenol's UK site I always like to give a shout out to the companies that provide such detailed CAD models thank you Amphenol uh, so normally you would have dimensions in here but I have all the geometry as an import feature instead I'm going to use the feature radio button to select the group for the 9-35 insert and the group for the 9-98 insert and in addition to that I want to have my different parameters and so for the parameters they're all gonna have a sheet size of a but they're gonna have different insert arrangements they're going to have different contacts and they're going to have different keys so I will click close from the select parameter dialog box and then close the dialog box that allows me to select columns let's go and grab the side of this to make it wider and now I'm going to define my different instances and to create the different instances or different variations we're going to add rows to the table and in this case over here it's going to be 24 rows so at this point I'm going to pause the video I'm going to fill in the table and then show you the end result of my family table and I'm back one thing I want to mention is that I used file edit with Excel just because it's a little quicker using the copy and paste and editing functions in Microsoft Excel as opposed to using the pro table editor and so you can see that for a lot of the different columns I have Y's or ends depending on which feature that I want to use I also have the values for the different parameters and a lot of the cells have an asterisk indicating that they have the same value as the generic now I'm going to verify the table make sure that Creo parametric is capable of generating all these instances and I'm fairly certain it's going to be a success because all I'm doing is including or not including different features and having different values for parameters so that's great I can close this and if you want to take a look at any of your different instances you can select on the row and there's a little eyeglass icon to preview the particular instance again the geometry is going to be the same the really really big difference between the different ones are the uh, coordinate systems that it has for the cable routing so that looks good let's go and click OK and then save my model 
And now I have my family table created for all my different instances in the 38999-20A shell size family. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindshield.com. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and click the subscribe button to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.